Hi everybody, it's Nikki here and welcome to a makeup video. We have my Panna's Bingo update for you. So, let me put this down. Um, Panna's Bingo is a project ban... Project ban? No. A project pan hosted by Kenna from Kenna's Closet. I will link her information for you in the description box down below. Please do check her out. She has an amazing channel and her hair... Girl, that hair... I love it, love it so much. My hair, not, it's not looking so good. Um, I had hoped to get back to the hairdressers before Christmas, but no, that didn't happen. I will be going back in the new year. Well, it is the new year, what am I on about? Uh, I will be going back, hopefully soon, once the boot comes off, to get my hair redone because the blue is already starting to come out. Barely see it and I want more blue. I want more blue. <laughs> um, but anyway, so, uh, Panna's bingo, let's get back to the bingo, not the hair, um, has been running from September in 2021 and it runs until you get bingo. So if you're watching this video and you're thinking, I really like this idea for this project pan, can I join in? The answer is yes, because it ends when you get bingo. There is no set end date. This is a forever project pan if you want it to be. Um, you get to choose one of four um, bingo cards. I ch randomly chose number four and this is currently what my bingo board is looking like. So where it's circled, those are the prompts that I've been given, the numbers and the prompts that I've been given and where I've coloured in, yes, that is where I have finished or hit goal on my, um, on my project. So, um, you haven't seen an update from me, I think, either since November or maybe even as far back as October. I can't remember if I filmed in, in November or not. But anyway, let's go through this. So I did finish B8, which were, the prompt for that was my favourite beverage, and I hit pan in the Soph X palette <coughs> in the shade Dreams. I believe I updated you on that one. I'm sure you've seen that. So that is out uh, of the uh, project. The next one is N38 and the, pr the prompt for that was a mini, not a sample. And for that, where are you? For that, I am using my NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Exotic. It is a really nice red shade. I have taken out the stop of this now. Um, it's kind of a beautiful, beautiful brick red, which I absolutely love. They're so creamy and I don't mind them, the dryness on my lips. Um, I know some people find them too dry, but I don't. Um, so there's still plenty of product in here, um, especially now that I've taken out the stopper. Um, I'm definitely getting a lot of product on the wand. Um, back in November, this weighed 11.46 and it now and um, no, it weighed 11.47 and now it weighs 11.46. So not much use. I think I only wore this once, if I remember correctly, over the Christmas period. So I'm not surprised I didn't get much use out of that. The next item was for zero, not zero, 068. And that was a skincare product. And I have chosen, or I have been using the Dr. Botanicals Moroccan Row, Rockin words Nicola Moroccan Rose Superfood Facial Oil and it looks like this and here you can see that because we've had two months update I have had much more use here if you have this you would get about the same amount as the other months update but yes I have been using this even though I haven't been wearing makeup I've still been trying to maintain my skincare routine um, so that's why this one has had a lot of use or regular use even. Um, I think even it might be slightly lower than this line um, because I have continued to use this since I marked it. I meant to film a couple of days ago. Um, so it has had a bit more use so it's just slightly below that line uh, to there actually. But yeah, I will continue to use this. Uh, so this one 
was 43.11 grams and now weighs 40.16 grams. The next item was for the center square and that was again a mini or a deluxe and I crazily chose a mini blush. Uh, this is the Rocketeur blush from Benefit and it currently looks like this. There's not much there. Do you know what? If I could repress this, I reckon it would go a lot, lot faster. But I don't have um, any of the repressing stuff left and I need to order some. Uh, so I don't tend to repress things anymore like I used to. So I'm going to continue to try to use this um, as is. But yeah, there's not much left there at all. This year, 2022, I am going to finish a blush. Can I have a fanfare, please? Because that doesn't happen. <laughs> um, so back in uh, uh, last month, it weighed 10.35 grams. And it does still weigh 10.35. But I think this is definitely receding. That's, that's, that's for sure. But it's a blush. So, you know. It, they do, they go very slowly. The next item was for B12 and it, the prompt was a flower. So in the name or the scent or something. And I chose my Body Shop Warm Vanilla Hand Cream. I absolutely love this stuff. Where am I down to? I want to say I'm kind of down to there. Uh, so yeah, not much left. This is absolutely stunning. I love the smell of this. This is so nice. I am an absolute lover of vanilla scent. Um, I absolutely love it. The flowers are basically on the packaging with the vanilla flower, that's there. Uh, so last month, this way, 29.95 month, months, no, grams, 29.95 grams. You can tell I'm out of practice, can't you? Um, or am I normally like this? I'm normally like this. Um, but now it weighs 22.74 grams. As I say, my skincare regime hasn't been that badly affected um, from my injury. Um, and I've been using a lot of hand cream because when you are on crutches, you get, you get, you get dry skin on your hands. And so this has been an absolute godsend uh, while I've been on crutches. So yeah. Uh, love this stuff. Love the Body Shop hand cream so much. They smell divine and they're not expensive either. So, um, and they really do make my nice hands nice and soft. The next item um, is for I-13. That's something I see. So blue, white or silver. And I chose this uh, body spray uh, by Mood Fresh. Um, so it looks like that. And as you can see, I'm now down to here. So I was there and I'm now down to here. Again, it's it's something that I could easily spritz on myself. And to be honest, I'm getting used to the smell. I mean, it still catches the back of my throat when I apply it, but I am getting used to the smell. Um, and I just kept this on my bedside table and just spritz myself every day because um, I can't jump in the shower well, we don't have a shower. I can't jump in the bath um, on a regular basis like I used to. However, um, I am getting like stand-up washes. So I'm, I'm a little bit like scared that I may not smell as good as I might normally. Uh, so I've been like going a bit ham with it, <laughs> going a bit ham with this. So yeah, I've used a lot. Um, but yeah, it's a bit difficult when you can't get in the bath. Um, I have to have stand-up washes, so I, I worry that I'm not not giving myself a proper, proper wash. I, I, I cannot wait <laughs> till I can get in the bath properly. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's that. Um, uh, that, by the way, went from 107.63 grams to 79.43 grams. It might even be less because I've, again, used it a bit more since I last marked it. The next item was uh, for I-21. That is something easiest to pan. And I put in a lip sample. And as you can see, it's not that easy because it is still not open. Why? Why? 
The prompt is easiest to pan. It's been in for three months, maybe four, and I still haven't panned it. What, what is wrong with me? You know what is wrong with me? I have a MAC sample open already, and as you can see, it's half gone, so we're close, but we're not quite there yet. This is what I have on my lips today. It's the shade uh, Seismic by MAC. Um, and as you can see, I'm halfway through. So once this is finished, then I will open the MAC sample. The only one that is actually in this project is this one here, but I keep it attached to the others because it's just easier to find this uh, whole thing rather than just this little piece. Um, but I will attach, um, like detach this when I open it because it'll be easier then. Uh, so yeah, it's still in the project, but we will get to it. As I say, slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> um, so that's not being used as of yet. Um, the next item I have in is for I-23 and the prompt for that was something fiery, so something red, orange or yellow. I chose this nail polish here and I think this was where you might not have seen my updates. You might not have seen me putting these projects, products into the project. So this might be a new item to you, um, but I have been using it. It's started in there and now we're down to here i should have marked it i'm sorry uh, but i'm now down to here i did um wear this uh, just before christmas i meant to do my nails for christmas but i ran out of time um so i didn't get to wear it over christmas but i did wear it just before christmas so um yeah these are relatively easy to pan as long as i use them um they're very quick to use up once you do use them that makes sense for everything, Nicole. Um, but this, um, oh, I must have only put one. I mustn't have weighed it again. Uh, so it started at 29.96 grams or it's at 29.96 grams now. Uh, I seem to have not, not marked my book properly with that one. Um, the next item is for 074 and this is something from my favorite show and my favorite show is charmed love that program uh recently started watching it back from the beginning on is it prime i think it's prime video and so to represent charmed the series I chose my Revolution Forever Flawless palette in Enchanted because some of the shades are like Charmed and Grim and Shadow and um, Trance and Bewitched and just words that I would use to describe Charmed. Um, you know, it's a witchcraft show. So this is quite a dark palette. This is actually what I have on my eyes today. I have uh, this shade and this shade with a little bit of this um, as well to darken it up. Um, so these are the two lid shades here and then this in the crease. Um, so yeah, I've been playing around with the, the top row mainly. Um, I haven't really dipped into any of the blues here or this red. No, it's not a red. It's a reddish brown. Um, or this deep purple down here. Um, I've mainly been sort of sticking to this, oh hang on, you can see my thing there. Mainly been sticking to this row here. Um, but I really, really do like it. I, I think it is a, a beautiful palette. I love the skulls printed onto it. Um, and the goal for this was that I use it 10 times. And I can tell you that as of today, I've used it twice. <laughs> Seriously, and I, I barely wore makeup over the last two months. Don't come at me. Um, so yeah, twice is better than nothing. So definitely falling in love with this palette from that. I've got to mark today's usage as well. So better do that before, um, before I continue. The next item uh, you won't have seen because Although I wasn't wearing makeup, 
and I wasn't making videos during November and December, I did watch people's videos. So I kept up to date with the um, the bingo number call out that Kenna does uh, 10 days, I think it's 10 days prior to the beginning of the month because that's when she calls the new numbers out uh, for us to pick our new products with. And um, so I believe that in November or December, uh, there was new numbers called out and I got G46. And the prompt for that was something black or white. And so I picked the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in Wifey, because it's got a black lid there. See the black, black lid. Um, so yeah, this is a little mini lipstick, uh, liquid lipstick. So I'll have two now in this project pan. But this is more of an everyday shade, so it's more of a nude brown. So um, hopefully there isn't much product in here. Uh, 1.5 mils? Or 0 0.04 floral ounces, I think. Uh, it's very, very tiny writing. Uh, so yeah, not much product in here and the glass is quite frosted, so the part where the the product is is really thin inside there. So hopefully it shouldn't take me too long to use up, she says. Might take me all year, to be honest. Um, but yeah, uh, that is that going in. And that currently weighs 18.73 um, grams. So that is that. And then the last item... Uh, that is going in is uh, was B3 and something that already has pan and I have decided to discontinue my um, 50 shades of purple project pan it's I've not been doing updates very regularly on it and to be honest the 50 products was just too much it was just too much to keep my eye on to make sure that I was getting something used on it. I know that I could have broken it down and just done 10 products at a time, but it was just, I, I, I couldn't do it. You got a flash of what I've picked. <laughs> um, however, <laughs> from the Fifty Shades of Purple uh, project pan, there was one item that I want to continue to use because it, it's special. It's special to me and I want to continue to use this all the time. I wore this on Christmas Day. Um, I think I wore it again on Chris on Boxing Day, uh, but I know I definitely wore it on Christmas Day. It is, of course, my ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadow in Issa, and you know how important this is to me. Um, we are halfway, and that was the progress that I made in 2020's project pan, uh, pan that palette kind of thing, um, because we were doing like a single, a duo, a trio, a quad. Um, so I got at least half of this used up in 2020. And I, I really had hoped to get a bit more used in 2021, but it just, I, I just didn't do it. Um, so, 2022 is the year I'm going to finish this um, Super Shock eyeshadow because I do have a backup. This is the only product in my collection, in my whole makeup collection, that I have a backup for because I never want to be without this eyeshadow. But I can't dip into my backup until I finish this and my backup is getting older and older uh, the longer we go on. So I... Um, I want to get this finished and used up this year. So my goal is to finish this. It might take me a very long time, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to finish Issa this year. Um, she is an absolutely stunning shade. If you don't know, because you may be new to my channel, why Issa is particularly uh, special for me, it is because my daughter um, is called Melissa, uh, my youngest daughter. And um, we sometimes called her Issa for short. Um, and my daughter has had to be adopted to another family because of my mental health. So um, 
So yeah, having the shade Issa on my eyes over Christmas is my way of being close to my daughter, um, even though she is not with me anymore. She is with another family and enjoying Christmas with them. Um, I feel no anger or animosity um, towards her new family. They're looking after her, something I couldn't do when I was uh, severely mentally ill many years ago. I might be better now, but you know, she's happy where she is. She has a loving family. Um, January is a time when I get my letter from um, from social services, letting me know how she's getting on with school and with the family and with holidays and things like that. Um, so I'm very much looking forward to getting that letter very, very soon. It's like a, a belated Christmas present that I, I just, I, I look forward to every year. Um, it's quite an emotional time as well. Um, and then I always write one back. Um, but yeah, Issa is for my daughter. So um, I want to use this up and the more excuse I have to use this, the better I get to feel closer to my daughter every time I wear this beautiful shade uh, on my eyes. And it really is absolutely gorgeous. I love purple. So yeah, that is that. This starts off at 18.27 grams. So those are all of the items that I currently have in my Panna's Bingo update. We have one product completely used up, but we have quite a few um, products in that are gonna make a line pretty, pretty soon. We have uh, quite a few lines that have like three products on the line. Um, so yeah, hopefully, maybe one day soon, uh, I might actually hit bingo, uh, but I'm not in any rush. Well, I'm going slow and steady wins the race. So that is it. That is my Panas Bingo update for January 2022. How are you doing in your Panas Bingo if you're taking part in this project as well? Uh, I am watching your videos, even though I may not have been making my own videos in the last month and two, um, but I have been watching yours. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.